right, guys. Welcome back to Meanwhile Russell Ranch. Thanks for tuning in and checking it out. Uh, I'm Kevin. I'm Stephanie. And we promised you guys some more updates, and because we got so much done in the nine months uh, since uh, the lockdown happened here in Texas around the middle of March, and uh, we really were able to achieve a lot. Obviously, a special thanks is going to go out to all the people that helped, uh, especially. Stephanie's grandparents, uh, they, they came down, and her aunt and uncle, Uncle Don and Aunt Mindy, and especially her parents, Steve and Karen, uh, did so much. My goodness, it was, uh, they were here for a month, and... On top just, of working for, what, six months before that, at yeah. home on the cabinets. Yeah, we'll talk about that, uh, all the work that they did, actually, before they even showed up. To get started, I want to do a little bit of an explanation on the photos you saw in the slideshow at the beginning of the video. In the first uh, picture of the slideshow, you see me standing on a ladder. That was obviously right after we just finished sheetrocking, tape and mud, and painted uh, before any of the cabinets were here. And in the next picture, you'll see where they were bringing in the cabinets, kind of getting everything kind of just positioned and basically in the house to start with and you can see it all over the uh, living room uh, as well as uh, yeah underneath the AC there yeah we had it had them all over the place because there's so many uh, as in the next picture you see them kind of stacked along the wall the wall cabinets are there some of the floor cabinets are in place and that particular one actually is dad kind of spacing those uppers, trying to make sure that they're going to fit where they needed to fit and kind of get an idea of the spacing. And uh, in the next picture you see a, a big jump in progress. Basically you see uh, cabinets on the wall and uh, the base cabinets also in place. And you see some things like the vent hood vent hanging down. Um, and some of the backsplash tile that has already been installed. One of the, the last pictures uh, is where the countertops are starting to be put in. Basically everything is in place. You see the support braces for the bar, for the island, or on the island. Uh, pretty much all of the lower cabinets are in, uh, but no countertops. And the old dreaded vent hood vent. Oh my gosh. Special thanks to uh, Granddad of Don for really kind of spearheading that whole ordeal because I was fretting over how it was going to happen and they just jumped in and took charge and, and made that happen. The last pictures you see, everything in place basically. There's countertops, uh, the vent hoods in, the appliances are in place, and uh, this is near the completion point of the uh, kitchen. That much. photo was actually taken on Thanksgiving Day. Those pots on the stove are Thanksgiving meal being prepared. <laughs> that was glorious. We have no idea how much we enjoyed that. Um, that Thanksgiving dinner in our new kitchen was really awesome. And um, we, there was dust and uh, dirt obviously all over the floor from working and stuff, but it was really nice to have Thanksgiving dinner. Our goal was to be in the house by Thanksgiving and our first night staying over in the house was on uh, Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. So, uh, and I know that these two are gonna kill us for putting this picture in this video, but uh, their contribution to this uh, was extraordinary. To say the least, uh, Steve and Karen, my in-laws, Stephanie's parents, uh, amazing. Um, I know we're going to get into this a little bit more detail later, but Steve is the one that built all of our cabinets uh, in his shop uh, out of West Texas, and Karen is the uh, tile queen. <laughs> she did so much work, among other things, like paint. Uh, all the uh, paint, most of the paint in the house she did. Most of the paint, uh, she painted the cabinets and glazed the cabinets before they even showed up. Special uh, ultra big 
shout out for Stephen Karen uh, for making this come together the way it did so quickly. There's not enough thank yous. <laughs> no, no, I'm trying to try to do it justice, but it just did not really happen. <laughs> I got to go over the details of the kitchen because it's not your average kitchen. Well, first of all, I think I have to take note in that, you know, this kitchen is not made for short people and I'm a short people. <laughs> so a lot of these things, there's room for things later that I can climb up on a ladder to get to, but for now I have things that I can reach. But we also haven't gotten all of our things out of storage yet, so we don't have full cabinets just yet. We have what we need right now, so. Um, so the uppers are basic upper cabinets. We did put in some glass cabinets here, and we'll get into lighting in a minute as well, but um, Dad had all those shelves made for us. Other than that, other than the glass cabinets, all the uppers are pretty typical. Kev always makes fun and says that we have all the bells and whistles, things that he never would have even imagined should go into a kitchen, but it was one year ago Thanksgiving that my mom and I stood in this kitchen in an empty shell of the house and started thinking about these things and started researching on Pinterest and figuring out what I wanted and she would send me an idea and I would say yes or no and and so we this is what we came up with so this slide out is for utensils and cookie sheets and other baking pans down below right now I have just kind of stuff, <laughs> storage bags and things like that. Things may change of where things are once I get everything else. This is our pull out spice rack. We season things a lot, so I actually have more spices than this. I gotta maybe start buying smaller containers of spices. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> um, for a year now, on the floor, under all this, it said a lazy stuff, and that was my mom's funny way of say, saying lazy Susan, which is what this is. Dad had originally planned to create his own um, lazy Susan contraption and then just decided it wasn't gonna be worth it and that the one that he discovered, or this one that he found was gonna be better than what he could come up with on his own for the amount of time that he had to create it. But he did also, I'm not sure if he came up with this idea on his own. I, had to, I have to ask him, but the way this door kind of comes in and sits down in its place. And then this is my paper towels and towel rack. Um, not sure what'll go down there eventually, but more storage. Originally we had a drawer here, and so these two doors, mom insisted on having it look like it was two doors, but it was actually the front of a drawer that pulled it out, which would have been nice to have, you know, easy access to all the cleaning things. But when we decided to put in the reverse osmosis system, the drawer wasn't possible. So because mom had insisted on having the these doors, it was a pretty easy fix. Dad just had to uh, disassemble the drawer and then put the doors on. We have very few drawers, <laughs> actual drawers in this kitchen, but here, these are just three basic drawers here. And then this, it's kind of junky at the moment. This it's a will, paint tray holder. Yeah. <laughs> this eventually will be the toaster holder. There's a plug back there so it can be plugged directly into the wall. I can pull it out, use it, and just push it back in. On the end, I hated to see wasted space. So up here is, it's not fully set up, but it's a mail place for important documents or mail that comes in. We have some key hooks here and a little note system here. Mom bought us these special, she was very proud of herself. She bought music notes for Kevin and then the little art ones for me. <laughs> and we love them. <laughs> <laughs> and then down here, we have not set this up. It's kind of random stuff right now, but this eventually will be a charging station. We're gonna have um, an outlet where we can plug in and have our iPads there and, and our laptops or whatever, and have that be a charging station there. Again, I told you there's not very many drawers, so there's three more drawers here. We have the silverware and just gadgets and all the Tupperware. So between these three drawers and those three drawers, that's all the drawers we have because of all the pullouts and stuff. 
And then right here is the trash pullout. It's nice because it holds also the, the bags for it, the microwave, and then another drawer that we have just random things in. Kind of a hidden storage over here. And that's where we're keeping the big things like the crock pots and the egg maker and things like that. You know, I was telling Steph that, you know, if we had to get someone to make me all these custom cabinets exactly the way that she wanted them, uh, golly, I can't imagine how many tens of thousands of dollars it would have been. So, uh, super special thanks to him. Uh, he does absolutely incredible work and is extremely meticulous. I could tell you some stories, but that's like a whole nother video <laughs> of little slivers that he puts in places to make it look absolutely perfect. And All right, Steph was very particular about all the cabinets. One thing that I'm very particular about is the lighting uh, in the kitchen. Uh, one of the things that she showed you earlier that's very cool, the switch here turns on the light over the, the sink as well as the end cabinet lighting. And we won't go into all that it took to get those in cabinet lights in place, but uh, uh, Steph knows what I'm talking about. I think uh, you just gotta tell them now. <laughs> I, I had to do it twice, let's just say that. First time I did it. You could see it. all the cords up she, there and I didn't like it. like it. And I was not very happy that she didn't like it, but after we went back and did it again with the recessed puck lighting, she was 100% right. It looks a thousand percent better. And then we have one of my favorites, uh, which is the under cabinet lighting. Uh, hopefully you can tell that. Now, the hard part about that, first of all, the LED lighting strips that are underneath there are really cool. Only about that wide. I don't know, I'm gonna get a shot of that. They're, they're very, uh, very small, easy to, to install. But we were very particular about having electricity and we didn't want to see you know, wire coming down and plugging into the outlet uh, under each cabinet. So what we did, or let me say, what I did, because I, I guess I didn't have to, but I chose to, is we put an outlet up inside the cabinet uh, in each portion of the countertop. So there's an outlet there, and then there's an outlet here, and then there's another outlet here. And all three of those outlets are wired to this switch here. So that way we're able to have under cabinet lighting and have all of the wiring concealed. And I think it looks good. It was kind of paint. No, it was a big paint. It wasn't kind of paint. It was a big paint. Electrical wise, it was a big paint, but it worked out right. Being that we don't have a ceiling directly over the kitchen, you know, it was a little bit of a concern, you know, are we gonna have enough light? And this, that, and the other. So, um, Steph came up with a great idea we should do a mounted light over here. And that's a great, just kind of a general lighting of the kitchen. Uh, does a, a great job for just giving extra light uh, all over the kitchen area. And as well as here's the booger right here, not the light over the island. Now you say, why is the big deal? Well, the switch is here, which is good. It's just exactly where Steffi wanted it. And so uh, the switch is here, which is convenient. Uh, however, you can see there's no post or wall anywhere in the vicinity to actually run wiring from this switch up to that. So it was a little bit of a uh, wiring challenge, we'll say, to get uh, the power to here. Uh, and then back from the switch up to the lights without having to have any sort of post to conceal the wiring in. So it looks really great, but it was uh, another kind of a, a logistical challenge for the wiring for that. On top of that, we do have a dining room light over that. The switch is here. Vent hood, you have lighting there. So we have pretty much a movie studio array of lighting in the kitchen, which I love uh, in so many different ways. You know, sometimes at night when we're just sitting and chilling, you know, the under cabinet lights will be on or just the in cabinet lights will be on. So it's kind of it's kind of nice to have uh, a variation of what type of lighting you need or want uh, given the situation.
One of my favorite parts of this kitchen is the sink. So, you know, as we have been working on this house, I have been getting things, accumulating things for the house. And it was, I guess, last Thanksgiving that I found this sink online. And it's one of those things where I went back and looked at it the other day. I found it on Amazon and, you know, you can see and go back to the, your purchases and the same people are selling this for a thousand dollars more, actually more than a thousand. I paid $600 for it. I don't know if you want to put that on there, but <laughs> $600 for the sink. And now they're trying to sell it for $1,800 on Amazon. Whenever we put everything together, mom said many times she had bought the spray for us and said, you have to spray it to seal it or it's going to change and it's going to, um, the patina can get messed up and we said okay we'll do it we'll do it and we never did because this was our only sink in the house and we were all brushing our teeth using the sink that toothpaste is not good for copper patina and so it actually took away there was a spot there and there is still a spot there you know i don't mind it i kind of like the changing of it if you look at the bottom let's go back to the bottom of it again you can see how the colors are changing where the water sits or where a dish sits and it doesn't bother me so i don't know we may be we may seal it eventually but for now it's just i guess we're letting it kind of evolve how it wants to evolve the countertops are another part of the kitchen that obviously are very important and steve is the one that made all of this happen he did all of the countertops the bar island and all along the kitchen here uh, our original plan was to have live edge countertops that we make from here on the ranch uh, the, and it's still the goal to do that um, but that in itself is a pretty large project and that's the dishwasher <laughs> excuse you <laughs> no uh, that's a, a very large project to do uh, live edge countertops and we want to do that someday but uh, it's uh, something this was done to kind of get us in. It's really supposed to be a temporary countertop, but he did such an incredible job. Um, and Karen did an amazing job of staining and uh, sealing, uh, clear coating the countertop. It's gonna last us a while and allow us to kind of focus our efforts on the other major projects that we have left yet to do. And also, we mentioned earlier the brackets that are under here. Um, he actually made those himself as well with a, what, a flat? Half inch, half inch raw steel that he heated and bent and into then, a 90 degree angle. And then, I don't know if you could see the detail, but kind of beat it up and made it, <laughs> made it, <laughs> made it look, look rustic. rustic. Yeah. So, yeah, they think of everything. They think of everything. Okay, thanks for checking in on the uh, kitchen update video. Uh, We're so thrilled with it. Um, it is so incredible to have a real kitchen again with real appliances and real cabinets. You know, it's such a simple thing, but uh, when you do without those simple things for two and a half years, it uh, just becomes that much more special. So again, special thanks to uh, Stephanie's grandparents, uh, Don and Mindy, uh, her parents, Steve and Karen, uh, they did such an incredible amount of work in a very short amount of time and then did such quality work for us. Special thanks to them. This video is kind of to them in all of their effort. But uh, we thank you for checking in for the uh, kitchen update and there's going to be some more. There's actually more that we've done. We just haven't, we haven't, we can't fit it on one video and it will be coming soon. And again, if you like these videos, please hit like, subscribe and uh, share with your friends and please leave a comment. Um, we're always looking for ideas and ways to make things better. Um, we sure love our kitchen. All right. Thanks a lot. God bless.